How to use Loom recording software for training and education quick and easy. Hi guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use Loom recording software for training and education purpose. So let's get into it. First of all, what you guys can do is you can go to Loom dot com and you will land right here on this platform loom is a very famous screen recording platform that allows you to record your screen and camera then you can share the link of your video that you have created you can uh, create training videos with this and share with your company this really helps us with work and education so how to get started with it you will have to click on get loom for free if you're starting up and you need to sign up you can log in with your slack apple id or google account so i'm going to quickly go ahead and sign up with my google once you have signed up for loom.com then you can see it's available as a chrome extension and then we have a desktop app so what i'm going to do is i'm going to install an extension so you're going to click right here it will take you to chrome.google.com slash extensions if you're using chrome and i'm going to just click right here and add the extension click on add extension and it will be installed. So our Loom extension has been added. You can see it has been added to our other extensions and now we can of course pin it if we like. How this extension works and how to use Loom. You can see with our Loom extension, I will be able to record a video. I can just start my screen recording anytime if I'm browsing and I have opened up any of the website, I can just uh, you know go to my extension and start recording. Then I will be able to share this video with my team members if i'm using loom for educational purposes i will share it with my class so that's how it works uh, you can see this is our loom and uh, we have our uh, library right here this is where it will show me all of the different uh, videos that i have already recorded then we have a notification we have history settings and i can also take you back to the home section so in home again it'll show you the different recordings that you have created how to invite someone we can also create a team on loom and that's actually the first step that we do right now you can see this is my workspace that we got we get a default workspace with loom so once you have a workspace you can invite a team member so to invite someone you will get the option right here click on invite and you have to enter their email address you can also import your co-workers from slack or your google workspace and then you can also select that what kind of list this is if it's going to be an admin uh, list a creator list or a creator light what is the difference between these three uh, you know types of members that we can add we have manage workspace can record unlimited videos with the admin and this one can all creator can also record a video and then creator light can record 25 videos for like five minutes each so you just have to enter their email address and they will be invited then we have our library and more now let me show you how to start recording so that's actually really easy you can go to your extension right here for example i'm working on a website i will just click on the extension and it will load it for me and then microphone and camera recording so when i will click on this one click access it will start recording with my microphone and my camera so let me actually give you a quick example so I'm just going to click uh, right here. Allow your camera and microphone. So you're going to click on allow and it will start recording. It will record your screen as well as your camera. So now you can see it's recording. You can see screen and camera or you can just go with your screen only. So I'm going to just go with my screen and not my camera like my camera where I can see my picture. And it's also showing me my full desktop okay i have my recording here this is my microphone that is attached and then we also have some canvas uh, that we can use so these are the settings and now i can start so i can check uh, you, before starting make sure to check if your your microphone is working you can see the vibration here then we have current tab uh, that is opened and then we have full desktop i'm gonna go with the full one uh, we also have some canvas tools available that i can use so i'm gonna go ahead and start recording click on start recording and it will start so this is what it looks like right now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and see how it looks we have our windows we have our chrome tab so i'm going to go with the window right here and select this one this is the one that i want to share click on the share option and it will start recording and now it's capturing okay we can start there you go 
All right, so now you can see my screen is being shared. Uh, this is what my users will see, my team members or my class. And then we also have our, maybe if I'm doing a work, I'm creating a presentation. It will also show me the time right here, uh, like 15 seconds. Then we have our video. So now I can start recording the video for my students. Let's say it's for educational purposes. Uh, so I'm teaching people how to use Loom. So now I can just get started. I'll just show around. I can uh, open up new tabs. We have our home here. We have our, uh, you know, this window right here, which shows us that which person is speaking. And then what I can do is I can actually pause as well. So or I can finish it. We have blur content as well. So if you click on the blur option, it allows you to blur a certain content a while, uh, you know, uh, creating your website. So let's say when you select the blur option, it allows you to pause the video for a second and then you can blur something. Let's say I want to blur my uh, like name right here, right? So I'm just going to click on the blur option and then let's say I want to blur this image. So I'm going to click on blur and resume my recording. So that's how easy it is to use loom and to blur different things then we have our uh, restart option as well if you made some mistake and you want to restart so this is actually really handy for work purposes this is really handy for even creating videos i think for even youtube if you are creating videos like this like tutorial videos so it becomes really handy where you can even blur stuff once you're done you're gonna click on finish recording and your recording will be saved and it will be added to your library so okay you can see it will take me back to my home where I will have my recording that I just did. So it's showing me this is the recording that we created just now. And I will be able to now add description for it. So in description, I'm going to quickly write Loom tutorial for this one. And then we can also enter some comments. My team members can enter a comment. And this is what the video looks like. I'm going to play the video for you guys now to show you how the video looks. Actually, let's kind of like... Okay, so I'm going to play the video that we recorded and it'll show you. You can see it recorded my screen here and this is how it looks. You can see it's an HD recording that we had and it's showing everything that I had on my screen. Even when I blurred content, it kind of like blurred it. Let me show you. There you go. Now you can see it's the blurred content we have. Once the video is created, we can now edit it a little bit we can trim the clips and video we can add a call to action so let's say i want to add a call to action and i want to add a button link then we can go ahead and do that what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a button link and uh, let's say i wanted to add a call to action for subscribing our channel or to check out our course you will enter the link here and then you're going to add your button text for example click here right this is what the button will look like now you can select your button location your button color your text color and your other things so this is how you will add a button then we have change thumbnail so if you want to add a thumbnail to your video that you have recorded with loom we can of course add a thumbnail instead of just going with this image so if you've created a thumbnail so you can go ahead and add them then we have some video settings in video settings we have noise filter that we can add i'm gonna go ahead and switch it on so if there is any noise that will be cancelled then we have a loom branded player comment notification animated thumbnails so you can enable and disable these options from here similarly we have other options uh, here uh, for example the review transcript as well so if you want to add like you can see it actually gave me a transcript this is really impressive with loom i have my transcript of what i'm saying you can see and then we also have our maybe if i'm doing a work i'm creating a present this is what i said right and they have added a transcript right here so this is really good for transcription and for our captions i don't need to hire someone else to do that for me so this is a really good tool loom.com that you can check out if you are an educator if you are a tutor and even if you create courses and you're looking for a software that allows you to record your screen and then edit your videos add captions for free go ahead and check out loom.com it's a very easy to use platform that also offers an extension i hope that i was a big help to you guys don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up leave a comment down below turn on bell notification and subscribe to youtube channel